If you're gonna eat, might as well taste good. Making some wings tonight. I wanna make a couple of jalapeno poppers to go with it. I've made jalapeno poppers a bunch of different ways. It always takes a lot of time, a lot of mess. It just feels labor intensive. I've been working for, I don't know, a few months trying to figure out some way to do it quicker and easier and still get bang for the buck. You know, you still get the poppers, but you don't have to put in quite so much effort and make quite such a mess. And you can do other things while you're doing the poppers. So the technique I'm gonna show you tonight is not really much of a technique. It's just sort of my way of doing it. I'm using a popper holder. It's shaped like the Arkansas Razorbacks. Uh, I've had this for quite a while, go hogs. The grill's been going for about an hour. We've got the wings on smoking. I'm trying to put the grill at about 350 to 400 degrees. Um, it's settling in right in that area. I've got four jalapenos from when we did it the other when we did these the other days. One of these is a little bit of a leftover, kind of misshapen, but those are okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to cut the jalapenos and core them out. I'm gonna show you doing it, how to do that, and then we will start prepping the cheeses. All right, I'm gonna move this down here. So, got some gloves. I learned the hard way that no matter how many times you wash your hands, if you rub them after messing with jalapenos, you're gonna have some pain. So this is an all-in-one little tool works really well so i'm going to show you on probably the second largest one first go ahead and get my razor back rack here it cuts off you take it pops right out. So I'm gonna step over here and I am going to dump this and wash this out. So what you're left with is a completely hollow, I mean not completely, but very close to hollow jalapeno. So do one more, we'll do the big guy here. It's a big boy. Pop the top off, once again. And once you do this a few times, you just get sort of a feel for it. You're trying not to go through the edge here. So you're sort of feeling it work its way around down there. Got the top out. You see we've got some seeds down in there. So I'll run water into this, get those seeds out. That's all she wrote. I've got here is the end of a big old block of Talamook cheese I've been working on. Take it, cut it. Now you notice we're only doing four jalapeno peppers here. And the reason for that is my wife doesn't want anything to do with peppers and this is more for demonstration than to make a big meal. So, we only need four sticks. This goes back in my bag to be vacuum sealed. We'll bring it out next time. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the biggest of the sticks, put it in the biggest of the jalapenos. And the idea is gonna be that some uh, cream cheese is gonna go in here with it. So, put that to the side. So, the cream cheese has been in the freezer for about an hour. Essentially, the second we're done with it, the second we get it out, we start cutting. And the reason is, this stuff is not going to stay hard for very long. She put some in there, put some there, drop this bit of cheese in there, break them all together, smush it down, there you go. Just got chunks on this one, so we'll put it in this 
one that's already ripped up a little bit. And you use this almost like a ramen rod to put more cream cheese down in there. This one, quite a bit, it's a pretty good size chunk, so, but it's not very deep. So we'll just smash it on over. There you go. All right, now you'll see, we only did four pieces, four jalapenos. So I've got two pieces of bacon here, cut them in half, give or take. And now, work on the other thing I've had to so these things are too big to really go in the uh, rack and just stand up on their own they, they just won't do it so you take a toothpick you skewer the bacon you stretch it you wrap it on around you stick it right there use okay so now grab another one skewer it stretch the bacon so it wraps on around and you could make the bacon a bit longer so you could go over the top if you wanted to I just hit my First one, but that's okay. Because as you see, the idea is to connect them to each other using the toothpicks. So that smoke can get all the way around them the, when the bacon's rendering down. And now you've got four jalapenos ready to go. About the most will fit in this rack is 10 or 15. Now let's take them to the grill. The wings are coming right along, so we need to get these out there. As I said, the wings are coming right along. I'll be temping them in just a moment. But first, rack is on. This isn't a wing cook, this isn't a wing video, this is a jalapeno pepper video. Now those wings are gonna be really, really good, but you know. So once again, the wings are on. We'll, uh, or once again, the pop is on. And we'll come back in five, 10 minutes, check on them. So I've let the temps fly a little bit. The wings are already off. It's sitting at 450 right now and um, if you can hear it sizzling the bacon's really coming along I'm starting to lose light so we're gonna do this pretty quick oh rookie mistake absolute rookie mistake picked it up at the ends wasn't expecting it to be so hot and bam off one of them comes but even with that, take a look at those jalapenos. I'll go inside, take a few more pictures, and then we'll dig in once they're cooled off. Hold it up for y'all to see. Got a nice, good, fine good. The cheese melted down in, which is exactly what you want. Now I'm going to take a knife and cut this thing. So you're getting just the top. That's a nice good bite. Love that. The whole point of doing it this way is to make it easy so you can make prep, make a bunch of them. Gotta think, this is four, I did four jalapenos. If you're doing boat style, that'd be eight. You know, if you're making 12, which is pretty normal, you only got to do six whole ones and people can cut them up eat whatever they want works out really well particularly during tailgate season when you're thinking about wings as well so i hope you like this video if you did please make sure and hit that like button subscribe watch some of these other videos while you're here um leave a comment down below let me know what you think there's other ways to there's other ways to do jalapeno poppers. I love them all. 
what I'm looking for is the easiest, fastest way, least amount of effort. That's what I'm looking for to get the bang for your buck, so to speak. I think this is a great way to do it. Freezing the cream cheese works pretty well too. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Till next time. Guess I'll eat this.